This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting media compression in Apple Compressor. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a custom compression setting for use in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. In order for me to create a compression setting that Final Cut can read, I need to create a custom setting. The way I do that is I click on the plus key down here and say New Setting. This opens up a dialog and say, well, what am I going to base it on? Remember, Apple devices is MPEG-4. QuickTime Movie is, is a QuickTime container. Let's do this for Apple devices. And we're going to call this Larry's Compression, wait, Larry's 720p Compression Setting. So it's going to be 720p, 30 frames per second, at H.264, and click OK. And now the custom setting has been added down here to custom. I'm going to select that custom setting, go over to general. I want it to be both video and audio optimized for network use. We can see that it's for Apple devices. It's going to have an extension of M4V, which is a variation on MPEG-4. It's going to be 1280720. Let's take a look at that. So scroll up to the top. I want the frame size to be exactly 1280720. Definitely square pixels. Don't change the frame rate. Keep it progressive. We're going to do H.264. I'm not going to convert to HEVC. I'm not going to be multi-pass. I'm going to change the bit rate to be 3000. Frame sync. We'll just leave that alone. Compatibility, I want to be compatible with more devices, and this shows all the different Apple devices that this is compatible with, which is just about everything. And then, cropping and padding, I'm not going to talk about quite yet. Let's go to audio. This is for my own website, so I want to have it be stereo. I want to have the sample rate at 44.1, and we'll keep the bit rate at 128 kilobits per second. And that's it. I've now created the setting. How do I access it inside Final Cut? Let's switch to Final Cut. And here is the shot that I want to output. So I go up to File, go down, oh, I've got to select the timeline. Select the timeline, cue the turtle, tortoise, turtle. Cue our star, go to Share. Well, wait a minute, how do I how do I access a compression setting? We're going to add a destination. This is the exact same thing as opening up Preferences and clicking on Destinations. And notice there's a compressor setting here. Drag that over, and it opens up a dialog and says, here's all the built-in settings that you've got. What do you want to use? I want to go all the way to the bottom to the Custom setting, and there is Larry's 720 compression setting that we just created just a second ago, and click OK. And now it loads that compression setting into the preference. So when I go up to File, Share, there it is, Larry's 720 compression setting. And if I decide in the middle of doing something that I really don't want to use that, click Change, and it opens up all the built-in and custom settings, and I can change it to be something else. And then click OK, and it's exactly the same as outputting a master file from Final Cut, except now I can create a custom compression setting in Compressor, which gives me far more control than Final Cut does, and make it accessible inside Final Cut, either using this as the default setting, or click the Change button and change the setting. By the way, notice here, embed CEA 608. This allows me to embed SCC captions into the export, which I can do also in Compressor. We'll talk more about that later. But anything like ITT or SRT captions are always sidecar files and don't get burned into the video. They are simply accessed along with the video and displayed. I don't need to actually compress this. It's enough to know that I can, and we'll hide Final Cut and go back to Compressor. This was an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on media compression in Apple Compressor.
For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 298. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.